Hello happy people, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. Now in this video I'm going to take you through an exciting tool called Revive All Posts. And with Revive All Posts you can do a couple of things. For example, you can share your old and new content to social media on autopilot and you can immediately share a post to social media with their instant share feature. I'm going to show you exactly how to do this in this video. And the other thing you can do is that you can share a number of other WordPress custom post types in the pro version of this plugin to your social media platforms. For example, you can share your templates to social media, you can share your products from your product website or e-commerce website to social media, you can share images to social media, and a lot more. The other thing that really excites me is that you can share WordPress media library content like images to social media using this plugin. And I'm going to show you exactly how this works like step by step and if you're using the pro version of the plugin they actually offer ongoing updates and a great support team so let's dive straight in and get started so right here i'm logged into my wordpress website and the one thing you have to do is simply come over here to plugins and you're going to install a new plugin and the plugin you'll install is called revive all posts now this is for the free version of the plugin but if you want to also get advanced features like sharing some wordpress custom post types from your wordpress website to your social media platforms for example like products or images from the media library then you will need the pro version of this plugin so it is an add-on that means that you will need to have the basic plugin or the free plugin that you simply just install from the wordpress repository by coming over here to add plugins or add a new plugin and you'll search over here revive old post and once it shows up over here you simply install and activate at the moment it has over 40,000 active installs so let me just head back to my installed plugins i already have it installed and if you want to get the pro version of this plugin you're going to use the link right down in the description box below once you get it you'll simply have to come back here to plugins add a new plugin and you'll upload that plugin and then you are good to go so in this case i already have it installed the other thing that you'll have to do is to activate this plugin by providing your license so after installing it the next thing you're going to do is simply come over right here to the general settings of wordpress then you'll simply have to scroll right down below here you'll enter your license and then validate the license once you have it validated then you are good to go it means that now your prop version of a plugin is ready to be used now upon installing revive all post plugin you'll have to get this menu item right here that is called revive all post when you come over here simply click on the dashboard and right here we will have to connect our social media platforms where we want to be sharing our content from our website so in this case i'm going to only connect facebook and twitter in my case and then over on my product website because i'm also going to show you a demo on the product website of how we can share products to social media platforms i'll connect only the linkedin account so let me now connect to facebook by simply clicking on a facebook logo i'll simply say sign in to facebook and over here i'll provide my password i'll select the page that i want to connect to in the case whereby you have so many pages connected you'll have to choose the page that you want to use so in this case i've already selected that then i say i'm done so i've already connected my social media account to revive social so next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to connect my twitter account to revive social by simply clicking on the twitter logo i simply say sign in i'll authorize the app and boom i'm done I've now connected my two accounts of social media that is for twitter and facebook into my wordpress website using revive social since now we have finished connecting our social media accounts of which we want to be sharing our content from our website to those accounts using this plugin now i'm going to show you how to actually start sharing content to your social media accounts using this plugin but before you go into that there are a couple of menu items over here like for example the general settings the post format the custom schedule, the sharing queue, and the sharing logs. Each of these menu items gives you a number of features that you can customize to suit your needs. So in this case, I'm simply going to come here to the general settings and I'm going to come right down here to the post types. I'm going to select the post type of what I simply want to share on social media at this step. In this case, I want to be sharing only posts. 
you can enable many other features right over here but since i'm using the pro version of this plugin i also have other features like the instant share feature which is over here and i'm in position to activate it and that means that if i publish a post over on my website then i will be able to share that post immediately to social media platforms now what i'm going to simply do is simply come right down here to save changes but of course you can also customize a number of other things for example the minimum age of a post that you want to share the maximum age of a post that you want to share the number of posts you want to share at the point of sharing the other settings under post format you can choose of course which platform and its setting these platforms are only the platforms or your social media platforms or accounts that you have connected to your website so in this case i have facebook and twitter when i come to the facebook option i can choose which part of the post that you want to use as a caption for example you can say uh, the post title the post content the post title and content the custom field in this case i want to use a post title and the maximum number of characters they can be 50 100 a uh, thousand because this is only sharing to facebook you can also add additional text this can be uh, the text that you want to appear as default on every post that will be shared you can include a custom link but one thing that interests me is the url shortener this means that if you share your content to social media it won't appear with the original url from your website in this case it will only use a url shortener to refer back to people on your platform so in this case when i come over here to the url shortener option when i activate it i get this option over here then i can choose from which url extension to use in this case i'm simply going to use is.good as my url shortener then what i'm going to simply do is to save the post format now this is only for facebook now i'm going to also customize my post format for twitter so i can use the post title still as uh, the post caption to use and the maximum number of characters is going to be 140 and by default it is set up to 140 and of course you can also add additional text which will appear as default whenever your post is shared on social media and at the same time you can use a url shortener just like over here it's selected and i've already selected is dot gd then the other thing that you can enable is you can share as an image post so that goes back to what you want in this case i'm not going to activate that simply going to save changes now when i come over here to the custom shade you can schedule at what interval you want your posts to be shared on social media for any of these platforms for example on facebook you can say the post sharing is going to be recurring and you want that to be every after 10 hours but you can say one hour two hours three hours or whatever hours i'm simply going to leave that on default the same you can do for twitter and still you can customize this over right here so what i'm going to do is simply save changes so the sharing queue is where actually the posts that are going to be shared on social media will be listed and it will also list to which platform and in how many hours that post will be shared and under the sharing logs it will list down all the successful and unsuccessful shares that have been made from your website if it's successful it will show up here in green and where that post has been shared to what platform and at what time if the post has failed it will also uh, show up here in a red color and what time it failed and to which platform it was supposed to go so let's start now by creating a post and we have it shared to social media using revive all posts in this case i'm going to create a new blog post and that blog post will be shared instantly to social media platforms of twitter and facebook once i publish the article on my website and in this case of course i'll be using the revive all post plugin so to get started i'm simply going to come here to the dashboard and first of all i have to go to the revive social dashboard and i'm going to come to general settings and in this case i have to make sure that the post custom post type is selected so i'm simply going to save changes and the other thing i have to make sure that is activated is the instant share feature now this will give me the option to select that this article should be instantly shared to social media once i have it published so make sure that this box is checked next what i'm going to do is simply come to posts add a new post so i'm going to come over here copy the title of my post come over here enter the title of my post and i'm going to come over right here get the content for my post i'll simply just get this copy for my post then i'll paste over here the copy and since i want also to have the video embedded in this specific post i'm going to add a video so i'm simply just going to come over here and then i'll just enter the url of the video 
and then you can simply just format your post the way you want and then i have to add a featured image please don't forget to add a featured image simply upload my featured image now i have to come over here to the revive all posts and i can choose whether to immediately share this post to social media if i say yes then i can choose from which platforms i want this post to be shared instantly once i publish it in this case i want it to be published instantly to facebook and twitter so what i'm going to simply do is publish cool it looks like now the post has been published when i come over here to view the posts okay i can see that now my post is available or has been published on my website the title the thumbnail the post content and the video is over right here now let's head over to my social media accounts and check whether this article has been instantly shared using revive all posts when i come to twitter on my twitter account i'm simply going to reload this i scroll down here boom you realize that i have my posts already shared 58 seconds ago uh, with a title and the thumbnail and of course when i click over right here then it will automatically take me to the article it's off on my website now let's check out on facebook if i reload my facebook page i scroll down here boom you realize that i have my article shared one minute ago using revive all posts and this is how it shows up of course it has a thumbnail and the article title when i click over right here it immediately takes me back to the website okay that's how it looks like so in the case whereby you run an e-commerce website and you simply want your products to be shared on social media using revive all posts or basically have them shared immediately once you have them uh, listed on your website or basically want to simply run a queue whereby every other time revive all posts will share your products let me show you how to do that simply come back here to your dashboard of your e-commerce website and under plugins of course you have to make sure that you have revive all posts both the free and pro version because the pro version doesn't work without the free version and in order to be able to share the custom post type for products you should have the pro version of revive all posts now once you have that then you're simply going to come over here to the menu item of revive all posts come to the dashboard and of course you have to connect to the social network where you want your product to be shared in this case i'm going to choose linkedin so i'm simply going to connect to linkedin i'll sign into my linkedin account and this is very simple because revive all social has made it really simple to sign into any of your social media accounts by simply clicking one or two buttons and you are good to go now i've finished linking my linkedin account so next what i'm going to do is simply come over here to the general settings i can set the minimum age of the post that should be shared on social media and then i can also set the maximum age of the post that should be shared on social media in this case i'm going to leave this at zero and then right here under the post types i have to make sure that i select my products as the post type to be shared on social media then you can also enable any of these features just like the way you want one thing i have to mention is that this feature is only available in the pro version of this plugin but of course this plugin gives you many other possibilities in the pro version like sharing your posts to social media scheduling them and a lot more so after selecting your post type over here I'm going to simply just scroll down here and then i save the changes to start sharing our post to social media i'm going to simply come over here to the post format and then i have to choose how i really want my posts to be shared on social media so in this case since i'm already connected to linkedin i can choose whether to have the post title the post content also shared i can also enable the url shortener over here and once i am done then i can simply save changes then what i'm going to do is simply come over here to the custom schedule then i can choose how my posts are going to be shared in this case i'm going to leave them on recurring and the interval will be 10 hours like i said previously you can choose the interval to be one hour now that means that every other one hour a post will be shared to my linkedin account using revive all posts so in this case i'm going to leave it as it is and then i'm going to save changes and what i'm going now to do is simply start sharing so in about five seconds that product will be shared on linkedin and once the product has been shared on linkedin you will simply see that over here on the sharing logs that product has been shared now in this case a product called half moon aluminium earring has been shared on linkedin on this date and this means it is just 
a number of seconds ago so now let me go to linkedin and i check that out and you realize that i have a product called half moon aluminium earring shared on my linkedin timeline when i click over here on this product it will redirect me to our product page which is right over here Congratulations on being able to set up your Revive All post to share products on any of your social media accounts. Now, when you come back here to your website and check here on the sharing queue, you realize that there will be a number of products that have been listed up to be shared on social media after 10 hours, just like we have set up over right here. So when you see on the sharing queue, you realize that now we have another Masai brass mask ready to be shared in some hours. And then another product, another product, and another product. So in this case, I'll simply just stop sharing because I don't want any of those other products to be shared any further on my LinkedIn account. So now, how about in a case whereby you want an image from your media library to be shared immediately to social media? The first thing you have to do is simply come over here to the dashboard of Revive All Posts and under the general settings, we have to choose the post type that we want to share. In this case, we want to share a media, so you have to select the media post type and once you have that selected, just come over here and then I save changes. And now what I have to do is simply come over here to my media library and under media library, I'll choose an image that I want to be shared on social media. In this case, I'm going to choose this. Make sure that that image has a title. You can add a caption and a description. So in this case, I've already set up my title. So the title is very important because we chose the post title to be selected as the title of the image. So in this case, you have to scroll just down here and you'll see an option that allows you to share this image to social media, mark it to be checked. After checking it, then you're simply good to go. Then the next thing you're going to do is simply come over here to the Revive All Post dashboard and you're going to come over right here to start sharing and in the next 10 seconds, we will have our image shared on our social media platforms. And boom, when you look now over here on our sharing logs, you realize that now our image, the before and after image compare in Elementor has been shared to Twitter. Just a couple of seconds ago, when I come over here to Twitter, I'll simply reload. And boom, you realize that we have our image shared to Twitter. When I click over right here, it opens up in an image light box on Twitter. So in a case where I want to go to image URL, I simply just click over here on the URL shortener and it will automatically take me straight to my website where the image is located. Before I close off this video, I have to mention that I made my first video about Revive All Posts a couple of months ago and I realized that right now they actually added a number of features and also updates in the free version of the plugin and also in the pro version. So in the case whereby you are unable to check out the pro version, then please check out the free version of the plugin because it also enables you to achieve more. I'm going to link up this first video over here in the description box below so that you can also check it out in case you want to check out only the free version of the plugin. However, just like I said, the pro version gives you a lot more capabilities and of course you can connect to more other social media accounts besides Facebook and Twitter and like also they have the buffer integration which means that you can still publish more of your content to other social media platforms. So in case you have any questions or comments regarding this tutorial please let me know down in the comment box below. Otherwise I hope this tutorial brought you value. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video please give it a like and if you're new to the channel please hit the subscribe button. Have a good time and goodbye.